Hi, Church. Like many over the coming weeks, I am spending a lot more time at home. And though we may not be able to meet, we can still be church. The original word for church was the gathered community. And it might look different at the moment, but we can still be the gathered people of God in Marlow, even if we can't meet regularly on Sundays. In an addition to our Sunday live streams, we wanted to offer some daily reflections and prayers to help us through this time. And there are three things that we can follow each day to help us feel connected to the church. One thing in the morning, one thing around lunchtime, and one thing at the end of the day. Firstly, at the beginning of the day, I want to start a community of people using an app called Lectio 365. And this was designed by the team at 24-7 Prayer, which was set up by Pete Gregg. It's a 10-minute devotion with a short piece of scripture. Each day you listen and comment on the church Facebook page to see what God is saying to different people in the church. And by doing this together, we can get a sense of coming together in prayer. Secondly, around lunchtime, Every day a familiar face from the church will offer a five minute reflection on a piece of scripture. It will likely be a short reading, a few thoughts and a prayer to round it off. Look out for the link around lunchtime and again comment on the Facebook link to see how God is speaking to different individuals. And thirdly, to end the day, I'm encouraging us to try Compline. Compline or night prayer is almost as old as the church itself. It looks to round out the day, whether it's been hectic, or lonely, or even frightening. Compline is there to give all of these emotions to God. It's not like the other two. The content is quite simple and liturgical. It doesn't change every day, but in times of uncertainty, a simple, reflective moment could well be just what we need to do come the end of the day. So I hope in these uncertain times you can cling to the unchangeable hope that we have in God. We're not doing this alone, but we do it as a community. Do add your comments to each video so that we can see the community at work coming together, holding on to the truths of God.